Hi, I'm Matt with eTrailer. If you're looking for a way to get a little bit more space out of your 2022 Ford Bronco Sport and you need to carry some more maybe bulky, messy items or anything that you don't want getting inside your vehicle, then the Flint Hill Goods Aluminum Hitch Cargo Carrier is going to be a great choice. The reason why I think the aluminum version of this is going to be a great choice is because the Bronco doesn't have a super high tongue weight. So you want to make sure if you are going to carry any gear that the carrier isn't going to take up too much of that weight. Because this carrier is going to be still, still pretty durable. It's going to have a weight capacity of up to 500 pounds and it's going to have a decent amount of space to it. Now to really look at all that space, I'm going to remove our cargo real quick. Just to give you an idea, this is a luggage bag we have on here. We use a strap just to keep it in place. And this is pretty solid too. And I could probably put it maybe two or three more on here. And what's great about this is that even though this is made out of aluminum, this is still gonna be very durable. Even when I am strapping things down, nothing's really gonna bend. You'd even use hooks too. Now what I don't recommend hooking onto is gonna be these thinner areas right here that have a lot of flex to them. That's probably gonna bend pretty easy. But to give you more of a concrete idea of how big this is, I can measure it real quick. That's gonna be 47 and a half inches wide, 20 and a half inches long, and six inches tall. So that's gonna give us an idea of what we're working with here. And like I said earlier, if you have any items that really stick above here, you can just strap those down as long as it's on these more solid beams. That's also the nice thing about the aluminum style is it's going to be more rust resistant as opposed to a steel version of this. Now definitely keep in mind if you are loading gear back here, at certain points you're going to get some clearance issues. Now you're always probably going to block that license plate just because how low it is and that backup camera is going to be blocked pretty soon too. But for your hatch access, we can get that measurement real quick. And that's going to make contact at just below 16 inches. So you're not going to be able to stack items up very high before making contact. So that might be just a sacrifice you have to make when you are loading anything in here. Now to get that overall measurement that it's going to stick out. Because this is important to really know when you're driving on the road or you're trying to put, go into a tight parking spot. This is gonna sit at 29 inches to give you an idea how it's gonna fit there. And for our ground clearance, this is gonna be at 14 inches. That's pretty good. Also keep in mind, it's gonna drop down maybe an inch or two if you have this loaded up. Now, as far as how it's gonna interact with everything else, it's gonna work pretty well. Because like I said earlier, the only things I see this blocking will be your license plates, your backup camera, but where our taillights are, are in a pretty good spot and you're probably not going to block your backup window because you'd have to stack things up pretty high to do that. And earlier I said this will have a max weight capacity of up to 500 pounds. Just make sure that your hitch and vehicle can carry that much weight. Now the way this is going to install is we're going to have a two inch shank and this is going to go into a two inch receiver. We'll then have an anti rattle bolt go through and connect to a nut on the other side. And this is a kind of an odd design. It's not too bad, but the way it works is you hold one side, you tighten the other one down, which can be a little bit awkward at points. Like try to get your hands through here. So, but it still installs pretty well. You will get a little bit of rattling, we've noticed. Not much side to side, but it's mainly going to be the up and down. And if nothing's back here, yeah, you'll probably notice a little bit of balancing, but when this is loaded up, that weight's going to be pushing down on that, so you won't get too much rattling going up and down. But in my opinion, I think this is a great way just to carry a few extra items on your Bronco. Now there are other alternatives, like right now, if you look up top, I got a roof basket up there. That's gonna be another fine choice too. 
The only downside for me though, a roof basket is not everything's gonna be great to be put up there. So if I have anything like mulch, concrete, I probably don't wanna put that on my top of the vehicle because that's gonna have a lot of spillage or anything that's really heavy because I don't wanna lift that above my head. Having a hitch cargo basket, it's gonna be a lot easier to load and I won't mind if I have any mess messy items back here. Now, if you're not a big fan of aluminum carriers, maybe you've had some bad experiences in the past, there's another great option. It's gonna be another Flint Hill Goods steel hitch cargo carrier, but it's gonna be about the same size as, the, as this, and it's still gonna be really lightweight. What's nice about a lightweight carrier is it's really easy to store inside your house too, so you don't have to have this on full time. But at the end of the day, either one of these is going to be a great choice for you. But that's just a look at the Flint Hill Goods Hitch Aluminum Cargo Carrier in the back for 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching. Here we are on our test course. As we hit the alternating bumps, you can see what it would be like to hit a pothole on the road. Our solid speed bumps simulate pulling in and out of a driveway or hitting a speed bump in a parking lot. We use the slalom portion of our course to simulate the side-to-side -side movement, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvers.